Hello language learners. Welcome to the English Grammar Mastery course. My name is Sai Sarath and in this lesson we will be learning about one of the most important topics of English grammar, sentence structures. Do you ever wonder what makes some sentences flow smoothly while others feel clunky or hard to understand? The secret lies in the sentence structure. Learning about the different types of sentence structures will help you express your thoughts more clearly and effectively so get ready as we embark on a journey to explore the fascinating world of sentence structure in english before we start just remember that if you have any questions at all you can ask me those in the q and a section or email me and i will get back to you personally as soon as possible so without any delay let us begin our lesson Every well-built structure has a solid foundation and sentences are no exception. Sentence structures, also known as syntactic structures, determine how words and phrases are organized within a sentence. In the English language, understanding the various sentence structures is essential for effective communication. There are four primary sentence structures: simple, compound, complex and compound complex sentences let us understand each of these structures in detail starting with the simple sentence structure a simple sentence consists of a single independent clause it has a subject and a predicate and express a complete thought simple sentences can be short or long as long as they convey only one idea here's the basic structure of a simple sentence subject plus verb plus object or a complement for example the cat slept on the mat this is a simple sentence because it contains one independent clause the cat slept on the mat here the cat is the subject and slept is the verb the sentence expresses a complete thought Take a look at another example. She reads books every evening. This is also a simple sentence because it contains one independent clause. She reads book every evening. She is the subject and reads is the verb and the sentence express a complete thought. The student studied diligently for the exam. This is again a simple sentence because it contains one independent clause the student studied diligently for the exam the student is the subject and studied is the verb and the sentence express a complete thought simple sentences are easy to understand and create a clear message these sentences are useful for expressing a single straightforward idea they can add clarity to your writing and speaking but using too many simple sentences in a row may make your communication sound choppy or simplistic be sure to mix in other sentence structures for variety and depth now let us move on to the next type of structure compound sentence structure sometimes we want to express two related ideas in a single sentence that's where compound sentences come in they consist of two or more independent clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction these clauses are of equal importance and can stand alone as separate sentences the structure looks like this independent clause plus coordinating conjunction plus independent clause let us see some examples she went to the store and she bought some groceries this is a compound sentence because it contains two independent clauses she went to the store and she bought some groceries the coordinating conjunction and connects the two independent clauses and both these clauses express a complete thought the weather was cold but the sun was shining this is also a compound sentence because it contains two independent clauses the weather was cold and the sun was shining 
द कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन बट कनेक्ट्स द टू इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेस एंड बोथ दीज क्लॉजेस एक्सप्रेस अ कंप्लीट थॉट I wanted to go for a walk however it started raining this is a compound sentence again because it contains two independent clauses i wanted to go for a walk and it started raining the semicolon connects the two independent clauses the conjunctive adverb however is used to show the contrast between the two independent clauses and both these clauses express a complete thought compound sentences are great for expressing two related ideas or contrasting thoughts they can add variety to your writing and speaking helping you create a more balanced and interesting flow of ideas now that we have covered compound sentences let's dive into the complex sentences a complex sentence consists of one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses dependent clauses cannot stand alone as separate sentences and are usually introduced by a subordinating conjunction like because although if since or when it usually follows the following structure independent clause plus subordinating conjunction plus dependent clause it can also be dependent clause plus subordinating conjunction plus independent clause Some common subordinating conjunctions include because since after and although let us see some examples because it was raining they decided to stay indoors this is a complex sentence because it contains one independent clause they decided to stay indoors and one dependent clause because it was raining the dependent clause cannot stand alone as a sentence because it does not express a complete thought instead it provides information why they decided to stay indoors let us take another example although she was tired she continued to study for the exam this is also a complex sentence because it contains one independent clause she continued to study for the exam and one dependent clause although she was tired the dependent clause cannot stand alone as a sentence because it does not express a complete thought instead it provides information about the circumstance in which she continued to study for the exam let's see another example when the sun sets the stars begin to appear this is a complex sentence because it contains one independent clause the stars begin to appear and one dependent clause when the sun sets the dependent clause cannot stand alone as a sentence because it does not express a complete thought instead it provides information about when the stars begin to appear complex sentences add depth and variety to our writing but what if we want to combine compound and complex sentences so let's explore the next type of sentence structure compound complex sentences compound complex sentences are the most intricate of all sentence structures they combine at least two independent clauses and one dependent clause compound complex sentences are perfect for conveying multiple related ideas or expressing complex thoughts with clarity and precision they can add richness and variety to your writing and speaking showcasing your advanced language skills here is an example i wanted to go for a walk but it started raining so i decided to stay home and read a book this sentence structure allow us to convey multiple related ideas in a single coherent sentence in this sentence there are two independent clauses and one dependent clause i wanted to go for a walk is an independent clause because this is a complete sentence it started raining is again an independent clause because it can stand alone as a complete sentence so i decided to stay home and read a book is a dependent clause because it cannot stand alone as a complete sentence in this example the compound complex sentence effectively conveys 
multiple related ideas. The speaker's desire to go for a walk, the onset of rain, and the speaker's decision to stay home and read a book instead. This sentence structure allows the writer or a speaker to express complex thoughts with clarity and precision while adding variety to their language. Okay, now let us have a quick summary of the topics discussed in this lesson. In this lesson, we have explored four primary sentence structures in English language. Simple sentences, compound sentences, complex sentences, and compound complex sentences. Each structure serves a unique purpose and adds variety and depth to your writing and speaking. Simple sentences contain one independent clause expressing a single idea. Use them for clarity and straightforward communication. Compound sentences consist of two or more independent clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction or a semicolon. Use them to convey related ideas or contrasting thoughts. Complex sentences contain one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses, usually introduced by a subordinating conjunction. Use them to show cause and effect, provide additional information or express conditions. Compound complex sentences combine features of both compound and complex sentences with at least two independent clauses and one or more dependent clause. Use them to convey multiple related ideas or complex thoughts with clarity and precision. By mastering these sentence structures, you will be able to communicate more effectively, adding variety, depth and sophistication to your writing and speaking. Remember to practice using a mix of sentence structures to create an engaging and dynamic communication that leaves a lasting impact on your audience. Now that you have learned about the different types of sentence structures, let's put your skills to test. I have prepared some exercise for you to practice identifying and constructing the four sentence structures. Pause the video here and attempt the exercise. You have to identify the sentence structure used in these sentences. For answers, you can go through the PDF material given below this lesson. I hope that you now have a solid understanding of the different sentence structures. As you continue to practice and refine your language abilities, remember that the right sentence structure can significantly enhance your message and its impact. So go forth and experiment with these powerful linguistic tools and watch your communication soar to new heights. So that's it for this lesson. See you in the next lesson. Until then, thank you and happy learning.